Hello everybody. Here we are um, looking at the second to last week of this class. Our requirement is for um, the D3 project to be turned in. Uh, the details of uh, the required dates and deadlines will be posted onto uh, D2L. Uh, but for now, I just want to go through uh, the final project requirements and to demonstrate how to complete the final project. So I will do a bit of a review because the D3 project requires D1 and D2 to have been completed. So I will quickly do a review of the D1, D2 uh, to show how we got to where we are today. And then I will demonstrate how to do D3. So I'm going to rewind all the way back to the deliverable instructions and we'll just start from here. So you'll recall uh, that our deliverables were D1, D2, and D3. For D1, we needed to create a custom, a customer journey map. Uh, we did that. It was worth a total of five points. Um, there were several steps. Uh, we needed to fill in basically this template and uh, I gave you a sample here of basically filling in a customer journey map uh, that has the progress uh, on the um, uh, horizontal or the x-axis from left to right uh, starting um, with the beginning of the journey and ending with the um, the desired outcome and then uh, on the y-axis we had all of the digital experience touch points and then through uh, the matrix we then uh, decided if there was going to be impact or no impact uh, at that touch point at the particular step in the customer journey. And everybody did a really good job on that. Uh, the D2 requirements were worth, uh, the D2 project was worth 15 points. The requirements were to add functional cascading style sheet. Uh, if you are a graduate student, you had an additional requirement to add JavaScript, functional JavaScript. Uh, you then needed to optimize for SEO search engine optimization, and at least one of your pages had to have the um, page density percentage of 2% to 3%, um, which is the sweet spot for search engine optimization keywords. Um, so the way we did that is we created a new uh, content management system account at Weebly.com. Uh, we went through all of the steps. We logged in. We signed up. We selected a theme. We started editing. Uh, we selected our domain name, uh, we chose the free option, um, and then in some cases you're asked to verify your account, sometimes no, um, and then we published that. So we had our, uh, our website in place, and then we dragged the icon that kind of looks like a less than slash greater than, uh, and we uh, dragged that icon onto our website in Weebly, uh, and then we uh, set our H2. Uh, the reason we had to do this, of course, in review is that uh, we couldn't find a, a handy way to set IDs on our H2s uh, very easily in Weebly. There probably is a way, but uh, this way we kind of, um, you might call it a hack. Uh, so we were able to put an H2 with a, an ID in, uh, and then we were able to uh, put some cascading style sheet code into our header in the um, settings SEO tab and we saved and published that. Uh, then we, uh, for, for graduate students, uh, adding some JavaScript was a requirement, so we added this bit of JavaScript in the uh, actual um, uh, HTML on our, uh, that we just enabled with that um, icon that we just uh, dragged into there. We copied and pasted the HTML and uh, published that, so that gave us this button that when we publish it, it shows the timestamp. Uh, then we had to deal with our keywords. Uh, we optionally used this uh, website to find keywords that would resonate uh, with uh, by seeing how often they're, uh, how popular they are in the different search engine, search engine um, pages. It's kind of interesting that YouTube is considered a search engine, uh, but it's actually the second biggest uh, search engine uh, in the U.S. or maybe in the world. I'm not sure about that. Uh, we picked a couple of them. We calculated our keyword density. Uh, we um, uh, calculated that, uh, for example, we had the uh, right amount of keywords. Uh, so it's keywords divided by total words times 100. 
uh, gives us our keyword density. And then we stripped out uh, everything on the home page and we just added that uh, text uh, into our home, way, home page. And then we uh, optimized for SEO by putting our, uh, in our site description and our meta keywords on the SEO tab uh, under the settings menu, uh, under the site description field and the meta keywords field. We've published and saved. And that got us to where we are today. So now let's take a look at the D3 requirements. This will be worth 20 points. Um, we've done a lot to get to the point where we, uh, we can do these requirements, but basically what we're going to do is we've already created our CMS. We're going to create a marketing automation tool, and we're going to uh, create a CRM, integrated framework. Uh, then we're going to plumb the marketing automation and the CRM into our website. Uh, and you get four points for creating, four points for plumbing, uh, the CRM uh, comes for free if you do the marketing automation, but you get four more points for plumbing that in. Um, and uh, hint, hint, it's not actually, uh, you, you kind of get it for free, but we'll, we'll look into that. And then the last thing we'll do is create a Google Analytics account. We'll get four points for that, and we'll plumb it into our Weebly website. So if you think about it, this is really quite remarkable uh, for an introductory class. We've uh, uh, used a content management system. Uh, we've created a website. We've uh, added CSS. We've uh, added, if we are graduate students, JavaScript. Um, we've optimized it for SEO. Uh, we've made sure that our SEO density is correct. Uh, we've then created marketing automation, and we've plumbed it to our site. We've created CRM, and we've plumbed it to our site. And then we've created Google Analytics, uh, and we've plumbed it to our site. So if you think about that pillar, those pillars in digital marketing that we've talked about throughout this class, um, We've done the, um, the, the, the four steps, which are attract, delight, support, and understand with all of this automation. Pretty, pretty good set of things that we've done with, these, with this project. I'm, I'm very pleased with these projects. So let's get right into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our marketing automation. We're going to go to uh, HubSpot.com products marketing. We'll create an account. We'll go through all of the steps to create the account. Um, and then we will uh, um, get the uh, code that we need. Uh, once we've created the marketing automation account, then we get this code. And we need to copy the code, go back into our Weebly site, and go back into Settings and the SEO tab and paste that into our header code. We want to make sure that we don't paste over or in between anything that we've already pasted in with regard to our CSS and our JavaScript. You just have to be very careful about that. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Uh, then we'll create a CRM. If you've already created the marketing automation first, you'll have that for free, but we'll just show you where that is. Um, uh, you will, if you log in, you'll continue with this user. Uh, then you go back to this page, and then you'll see a hub that shows you your marketing automation hub, your sales hub, which is your CRM, and also your service hub. Uh, there's a lot you can do with this, but uh, that's probably uh, a little bit advanced for, for this introductory class. Um, and then we'll create analytics. So we'll create, uh, we'll need a Gmail account. You can either use your student account or you can create a new Gmail account specifically for this. Um, <coughs> we'll go to the uh, Google Analytics platform and we will click the start for free button. Uh, we'll fill in all the required forms. Uh, we'll make a decision about uh, um, our shared sharing settings and then we'll click the get tracking ID button which is the very important thing to do uh, we'll agree to the um, <coughs> terms and conditions uh, and then we'll get that code we'll copy that and once again we'll go back into Weebly and we will paste that into the uh, header code being careful not to overwrite or get in between any of the code for uh, the other things that we've added there um, We'll paste that, we'll save, and we'll publish. And uh, then I will show you uh, how to, um, how we will uh, leverage that, uh, that information, how I will view that information to determine uh, the success of your, of your project and the uh, degree to which you get um, credit. Okay, so in this um, uh, browser window, I've already gotten to my uh, Google um, Gmail account. I have my uh, Weebly um, K 
account I've logged into my website and I'm all ready to edit and then I have here on another tab just uh, the, the actual site so we can watch our progress by refreshing along the way so let's go right to the instructions and let's um, go to this page we're going to go to HubSpot and get our marketing automation uh, set up so I'm going to click a new tab here and I'm going to paste that information in I'm going to go there and then I'm going to create the account so to create the account I need to um, click the get started button okay so I'm going to click the get started button here and I'm going to accept the cookies here uh, and then I'm going to get started with a uh, get started free okay and there's a list of things that I get uh, free from HubSpot with that so I'm going to go ahead and and I'm going to use my email address which is site at gmail.com. I'm going to pick a password. Okay. I'm going to create my account. And I'm going to go to my website URL. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to copy this. This is my website. I'm going to paste it here. And my company name will be and you can put a hyphen site. Okay, save and continue. And I'm going to say that one person, I'm going to say two to five people work here and that we're in other uh, and my role is other and I'm going to complete the sign up I'm going to say no this is not a WordPress site and I guess I have to hit my next button and there's the code that I need so I'm going to hit my copy button and it copies it to the clipboard so very good I've got my code and I'm going to go back to my Weebly site and I'm going to click settings and I'm going to click SEO and I'm going to be careful not to paste over anything that I put in the header code so I've got my CSS here I'm going to carefully go to the end of that and I'm going to get rid of this comment that I put in here as a placeholder and I'm just going to paste that in there and now I have my HubSpot code and I'm going to leave everything else as is. I'm going to save and I'm going to publish. And I see that I have success here. I'm going to go back to my website. I'm going to refresh. Okay, now I'm going to look at my page source. And I see that I have my HubSpot code embedded here and I am all set I have now enabled marketing automation on this site so now if I go back to the hub site I hit my next button and I'm going to continue to my account and there's a lot of stuff that I can do I can um, learn more about hub site uh, marketing automation um, and I'm going to uh, these are all things that I can do these are things that are probably uh, best uh, saved for a, a more advanced class than an introductory class but the important thing here is that we now have marketing automation uh, with our our website that's very very powerful so I've done all these put my tracking code so now I'm back to my website now I'm going to create a CRM 
so I'm going to go to this URL. Uh, note that you get this for free by having uh, created your marketing automation. You actually have your CRM, but I'm going to go to that site anyway. And the thing I notice here is that because I'm logged in, um, <coughs> uh, I have uh, the option to um, to upgrade. I'm not going to do that, but uh, this just tells me that I uh, that I have a, a CRM account. And um, uh, if I didn't, I would have gone through the steps. Like for example, had I chosen to do my CRM first and then my marketing automation, I would have gone through the same steps. But I would have chosen the get started. Uh, free forever um, and I would have uh, created my page so I've got my CRM um, and I've already seen this hub page so I could uh, go back to that hub page I think I really don't want to be speaking to the bot. Um, uh, it's a little added, added bonus here. Uh, I guess I'll I'll discontinue this. Um, the hub bot, and I will just go to my uh, marketing landing pages. And I can do several things, but I'll, I'll just stop here uh, and I'll continue with our exercise. Um, last step we have to do, so now we've done the um, attract with our SEO. We've done our delight uh, with our um, uh, edits that we've made to our website and with our marketing automation and with our CRM. We've done our support with our CRM. And now we need to do our understand steps, talking about those four pillars. So I'm going to go to my... Uh, creating a um, marketing automation account. I copy that URL. I'm going to pick a new tab here. I'm going to paste that in. And I'm going to start for free. I can press this button or this button. Press this one. And since I'm already logged in, uh, I should have. Um, access to Google Analytics here and I'm going to uh, sign up uh, create my new account name I'm going to make sure that I go along with my slides here and uh, I'll get to eventually to this point here so I'll create my new account name I'm going to call it um, Brian School Site and my URL let me go back here again my mom and pop get this. Go back here. The website name is going to be this, but my URL is going to be this entire URL. Copy that and paste it here. And my industry is going to be computers and electronics. Um, I'll see what it's saying there. Okay, this is something you have to be careful with. It, it wanted to provide the HTTPS. Um, United States, uh, Los Angeles time is fine. I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, my sharing, I'm going to accept all of the defaults. And I'm going to get my tracking ID. I'm going to accept the terms and conditions. Say that I accept. Say no thanks to the mobile apps. And there's my tracking ID. So I'm going to be careful and copy all of this. Copy. And I'm going to go back into my Weebly account. I'm going to go to my settings tab and my SEO tab. 
and here's my header code. I've got a lot of stuff in here, so I'm going to be careful to go to the end of it so I don't write, overwrite anything that's here. I'm to the very end. I'm going to hit enter, enter, and paste. And now I've got my Google code in there. I'm going to save, and I'm going to publish. And I have success. Now I'll go back to my mom and pop site and I will refresh and I will view source and now I see that I have my Google Analytics code in here so I've got my tracking pixel for Google I've got my tracking pixel for HubSpot uh, oops, uh, for, for Google and, and my tracking pixel for HubSpot and I've got my CSS all in place so by having done these things right now I would have fulfilled all of the requirements for the D3 project so that's pretty cool uh, and that's pretty powerful actually uh, when you think about it what you've done here is pretty remarkable um, now that we're in Google Analytics and we have this, uh, we can actually uh, start to use Google Analytics. So if I go to home, and I can look at real time, for example, I see that I have one active user, and that's me here. Um, and I can say, um, let's uh, narrow this, so I'm going to go up to my date. Actually, let's let's look at uh, our behavior, uh, site content, our pages, and I'm going to narrow my date to just today, or from yesterday to today, and apply. And um, not much going on. Let's see what, what I know about my audience. Um, overview. Well, okay. Maybe I need to. Let's see here. Let's do a refresh here. Let's go to some other pages. Go home. Let's click on that. Now let's see what our analytics say. Let's actually narrow it right down to today. Start, finish, apply. So I have one user. And um, let's see real time what's going on here. Overview. I have one user right now. That user is here in Seattle. That's because of my of where I've logged in. That's actually me. Um, locations it's in the United States traffic sources uh, okay content okay I've gone to the home page events not much going on so let's look at uh, now sometimes there's a lag um, site speed view pretty good site speed, page timings. These are all things that I can uh, check with Google Analytics. Of course, there's not much going on there. So uh, a lot of fun. Um, hopefully, you were able to complete all of these steps. Uh, I think this is a really amazing uh, project, and um, hopefully it's been fun for you or will be fun for you. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions or comments or concerns. Thank you. Signing off. Bye.